Okay, guys. Well, before I read this article to you, which was published on Mail Online on the 18th of January 2014, I just want to bring your attention to the video that I uploaded on the 9th of January 2014. And in this video, I was basically piecing together the information to show us that we were indeed heading into a little ice age. Unfortunately, we had to wait over a week for the establishment scientists that are all paid by the collective, mind you, to confirm what we are already putting together. Now, it just has to make you ask what takes them so long to put forward this information. Yeah, well, that's because they don't want to have to reveal this information unless they absolutely have to, unless they can't get away with it, unless too many other independent scientists like Piers Corbin, and I'm not saying that I'm anywhere a weather expert like Piers Corbin, he knows his weather, let me tell you. Uh, there's a really good interview that he done with Alex Jones, and I will post that underneath in a link. I suggest you watch him. For expertise in weather on this planet, I do not think there is a man that knows more. However, in saying that, Piers Corbin, nor anyone on this planet, knows the cycles of the sun. And as we all are now coming to the conclusion that the sun drives our weather, we cannot actually predict what is going to occur due to what the sun is now doing, which they're saying because it's gone to sleep that it is causing temperatures to plunge. Now, the sun is not behaving, nor has it behaved, for a very long time in any way that the scientists can explain or in any pattern they have observed previously. And this is because they are like the frogs at the bottom of the pond. And that's where they want to keep all of us. When in fact they do have other information that allows them to have a larger view, they do not allow access of that information to others, other than those that they deem worthy. Even some of these top scientists actually truly believe the physics model, the fusion physics model of the Sun and the Big Bang. So there are those that know this and keep the agenda going because the agenda is, is to keep people at the bottom of the well. And unless you go out seeking, which is what I did, perfect example of what putting together the information yourself can do. You can actually come to your own conclusions. You do not have to rely on the mouthpieces of the establishment. And that's what people do and that's why they always leave themselves open to be affected in a really negative way. And so, you know, we have to understand that yes, there are cycles on the sun that are affecting us and they are not only cycles that we've observed because we are in a larger cycle which is the processional cycle which is once again we find in all the calendars from different cultures but which modern science chooses to exclude from their equations yet when you look at what the establishment hoards in way of the religious establishment, all of their information shows us that we are in these larger cycles. You know, I mean, have a look at the Vatican. They have the zodiac all over the Vatican, okay, all over their temples. Go and do a Google. You can see they have the zodiac. I even think I've done videos on it. It's not hard to find. Just type in Zodiac Vatican into Google Images, it will bring it up. Okay? They know we're in these larger cycles and unless people start moving to the top of the pond and stop looking at people that are at the top of the pond uh, as, you know, fearful or people that they just can't understand, just understand that, yeah, what I'm saying is true. 
Okay, what you've been programmed is not. All right, and that's because I've gone out and actually put the information together myself, and I haven't relied on anybody. I've relied only on my own logic and my own ability to piece together information as factually given to me as I can. Because at the end of the day, I want the truth too, guys. Okay, I don't want a beautiful lie. I want the truth. I don't care what it is. I just want to know what it is. And I've always wanted to know. And so that passion for a desire to have an understanding for the reality in which I existed in has resulted in me piecing together ancient knowledge that tells us this is what's been hidden. That's all I've really done and that's all other researchers like Danny Wilton has really done it as well. He, he's just discovered what they've hidden. Okay, he's just had the ability to see through the bullshit and this is basically what I have done as well. So it's not hard. You just have to understand that you have to go and seek the information yourself. That's what knowing thyself is. That's what the Egyptians said. To seek the inner kingdom, you must know thyself. The inner kingdom is your soul, is your complete and profound understanding of who you are in the universe and who you are in this cycle and who you are as an ethereal being. And, you know, unfortunately, again, the ones at the bottom of the pond just think I'm speaking another language. And I just don't know what to do with them other than say, look, it's your choice to stay down there or it's your choice to come up. But what I have found in my research cannot be debunked, okay? So until people can actually go and take my information and then debate me on my information, I'm not interested in what you think or what you believe. And that's all anybody ever gives me, who feels that they have to come onto my channel and make long-winded um, attacks on me. Why not just go and visit other videos that you agree with? You know, why do people find information uh, to be that affronting that they have to feel they have to attack people? And that's what people do. And really, that just goes to show you uh, these people and what they are, that they attack people because they are confronted by information because they cannot process it, they are not ready to process it and they just react in that violent manner. And you know, this is what family and friends do when you try and wake them up. But this is why I say guys, it's not about waking up people, it's about speaking truth, that's your fifth chakra and that's the chakra we're up to at the moment, we're finding, is the fifth chakra. And the importance of the fifth chakra is speaking out. Okay, speaking out about things that are wrong, speaking out about things that piss you off. Use your fifth chakra, express yourself, express your opinion. It's your opinion for a reason, right? The creator wants you to express it in defense of the law of the universe, basically. And that is the true understanding of the principles of the universe. And that is what our information covers fully covers it, fully proves it, and fully sticks to the golden rules, sacred geometry, okay, and all of the golden rules of science have been followed. This is the problem with modern science is that they don't. They just discount what they want. On one hand, they say that the universe is a projected hologram, but then on the other hand, they talk about pareidolia and say that we're just seeing things. So where are they actually equating um, any of this um, other factor of a mental projection within our existence into their theories? They're not. You can't have it both ways. You can't speak out of both sides of your mouth. And that's what the establishment do. And that's what people who are in fear want to hang on to because to them it's an indoctrination, to them it's a belief, to them it's who they are. They actually have built their tower around a false illusion. And this is how I keep saying and keep seeing myself as a tower, guys, and how we have to build this inner tower that nothing can destroy because it's based in total truth and total understanding of who we are in this universe. And that's where we have to come to. We have to come to that point of understanding. That's when we open the, the door to the inner kingdom. That's when we have the keys. Okay, that's when we've taken the keys from St. Peter 
and we've opened the door to the inner kingdom when we have the understanding for ourselves we have the single eye we understand ourselves as whole beings see at the moment we only understand ourselves as physical that's what the religious establishment working with the government establishment have sought to lock up and take away from us and then sell us another lie and that has enslaved us on every level, physically, spiritually, emotionally and mentally. We are pretty fucked over. And right now they are debasing us, really, really debasing us and they're attacking the children really badly. And I've done videos on this. People really need to be alert to what they are doing to damage us. And this is where we speak our truth, guys. This is what I'm saying, the fifth chakra is really important. You know, you have to speak your truth. It's no good just typing it and sending it in a mem. That's great, but you've got to back that up, okay? So that means in situations, because destiny will bring you to situations that test you on your fifth chakra. And if you stay the little silent mouth, the mouse that just thinks your anger and just think, thinks how you just disagree, but never says anything for fear of being judgmental or in your ego or having an opinion, you've bought the programming because that is the programming guys okay you are here to live an existence in any way you want as long as you harm nobody and you have an intent for the good of the all at the heart of everything that you do that you do not want to see harm to any living creature to mother earth or any being but that any being that does create disharmony or does uh, create a threat to mother earth and the collective you see as a threat and you protect the collective and you protect mother earth see what's happened is they've programmed us away from protecting our collective and protecting mother earth and they've separated and divided us on color and gender and you know age and all of these other things and so it just continues on until we wake up and we won't. Unfortunately, we won't. Um, it will only be when people are going hungry and the bombs are dropping and things are really bad that people understand that they really built their towers around illusions because they never actually went to seek the information and find it out for themselves to absolute fact. And that's what the information that I have researched shows. And so I make no money off my research and I tell no one, you have to believe what I am finding and revealing with connecting all of the information across culture, with sacred geometry and scripture. It's up to the seeker to look at the information for themselves and come to their own conclusion. That's what seeking the inner kingdom is. Nobody can give it to you. So if you, if you think that you're just going to sit there and one day you're going to click on a YouTube video or a Facebook meme that's going to explain the complete understanding of existence and who you are um, to you, I mean, sorry, that's not how it happens, okay? It's not going to be gifted to you on a silver platter. If you want it, you must seek it. And then when you find it, you must protect it at all costs from being corrupted. And this is what the fifth chakra comes into. And so all of you that have a real understanding now for the truth of who you are need to fight for that truth because we're now fighting for the collective and fighting for Mother Earth. Okay, and that doesn't, that doesn't come into it on how people want to consider our expression of disgust in the world in which we exist okay we have a right to express our disgust to anyone at any time because we are doing it in good faith for the good of the collective and so in saying that I'm not saying go and preach to people and be a nuisance and a pest like a biblical religiotar doomsdayer I'm saying if you are given a situation because fate has brought you to a situation and you need to make a difference by speaking your truth, do not stay silent. If you want to help the collective and also you want to illuminate your own divinity, you need to use your fifth chakra. And 
Until we start doing that, as I said, not a lot's going to change. And people aren't going to be looking at information for themselves and finding out that, yes, indeed, we are heading into a little ice age because of the cycle that we're in. Now, they call it the Maunder Minimum, the Maunder Minimum. I don't like to put these little labels on these cycles that they just really don't know because they have only got 400 years of observations. Okay, it's nothing in a 26,000 year cycle, all right? So they're little labels. All they do is put people in this false sense of security. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, I feel better now. They've named it something. No, no, we're in a huge cycle. We have no idea what's coming. The sun is acting so strangely. I am watching the sun at the moment. I am seeing it do in, doing things since this magnetic reversal that I've never seen before. So um, I would just be paying attention to that. The geomagnetics are fully resonating in sync with the flaring and has been since the uh, magnetic reversal on the 30th uh, or 29th of December, depending on which hemisphere you are in. And since that time, we have been resonating and reverberating from the sun and magnetically we are locked on baby and I think that's why the sun has settled right down now because we feel every little bit of it so anyway we'll have to just wait and see what that plays out with as well but I did just want to um, show you just so I can you know it's always good to get some confirmation guys and just say, well, I knew it. You know, over about a week and a half ago, I actually, uh, you know, uploaded this video and told everybody, yeah, look, guys, what I'm finding, it does definitely look like we're coming into a little ice age. So there you go. All right, guys, well, I will link everything underneath. And as always, peace out.